that we've seen in recent history. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, let's move on to a few other things. And y'all can spam up some topics, please. <laughs> spam up some topics. Spam up some topics. Holy. Drake and Savage on a arena, a, a stadium tour. I like that. That's really dope, I believe. Um, okay. I actually did have some topics on my phone. I think they're from my last shit. Okay, we talked about that. Oh, I wanted to talk about this real quick. I thought this was odd. Go to my page. By the way, if you guys are watching on, on YouTube or Twitch, make sure you hit the follow button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you can. And um, also, please join the Discord. Like, it's very important. Uh, you all just see the Kevin Gay shit. I got to talk about that too, but shit. Let me see if I can find what clip I'm looking for. Okay, I'm going to find it real quick. So, this clip was a little bit odd to me. And it was odd to me because, I don't know. So, what a lot of people, so if you guys don't know, like, Metro Boomin dropped an album. And, and the album is like, you know, a lot of people like it. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay? By the way, me and Metro Boomin ain't, ain't the best of friends. Um, we went back and forth on social media a long time ago. Since then, we've ha not really had much conversation i literally told him nigga i'm gonna say whatever i want to say even if it's about your music and he was just like well i don't give a fuck or pay attention to you and i was just like all right nigga i don't give a fuck about you neither and like it, it, that's where i left it i don't have necessarily a problem with him i do think he's a really really fucking talented producer and um you don't <laughs> somebody liking me if if you had to like me for me to like your music i wouldn't like a lot of people's music right but he did drop a project, which I think is pretty good. You know, I think it was a really a dedication to his mom who did pass away, which I have a lot of sympathy for. And Metro, you fucking did that, bro. You did it. This is an amazing fucking project. I do want to say, because I've been watching this on Twitter. So he dropped a song on the project. It was called like Trance or something like that. And later on, people heard a verse from Drake. And people were like, yo, why the Drake verse not on there? And I'm going to be honest with you. Like, you know, first of all, what came out first, he, he had liked some tweets. So, sh no. Metro Boomin, Drake verse tweets. He liked some tweets. Let me see. Da, da. By the way, he's been doing a little shady things. Like, he shared the OG version of Knife Talk without Drake. Like, why would you do that, brother? <laughs> Like, why would you share the OG ver Like, it's Drake's song. Why would you share the OG version of a song without Drake on it? It's like you're almost trying to, like, take off of his his ar artistry by saying, hey, I know y'all love the song, but this really wasn't Drake's fucking baby or child. But I never even heard this. Let me, let me try to hear this. Hopefully I can play this. I got dumbest up in tr I miss the body catch up, slaughter gang, soul snatch up. Ain't no regular F1. Oh. Okay, okay. This is where Drake came in. Yeah, gang shit, that's all. Oh, okay, so this is without Drake, period. All I'm on. Shit, that's all. I'm okay, I, I gotta skip through it. I know we're on YouTube. I'm on, nigga. Gang shit, that I bought a Lambo. I came from a. Oh, we never heard this part. Nigga, gang shit. Here we go, here we go. Gang. This is where Drake would come in. Ah, Lambo, nigga. I bought a Lambo. I came from a Monte Carlo. Ooh, I bought a Lambo. I came from a Monte Carlo. I like that shit. Selling elbows. I did it right and went hollow. Ooh, that shit sound good. Back in the 70s, I probably would have robbed Pablo. Damn, did he say back in the 70s he would have robbed Pablo? Not Escobar. I probably would have robbed Pablo at my compadre. Not the meat. Yo, you sneak this in, Woo! you gon' get some teeth missing. You we you sneak this in, you oh this fire. Eat bitches, we raw strip and kill snitches. Your bitch digging, she dig. I swear I never heard this before. Eat blickies, and you know the. Nah, I never heard this before. Okay, so anyway, he tweeted this out. Right, he tweeted this out, and um, 
Oh shit, I forgot. Damn, I, I forgot Savage interview with. He told me oh, how Knife Talk Talk. Here we go. Sing, he gonna rap about. I have a, a, a something of everything. Yo, I just had a conversation. What, I got a question. Yeah. So look. Mr. Right Now on CLB. Then nigga, Knife CLB. Talk is a Savage record, nigga. Well, I'm at Damn, I was right. Nigga, Knife Talk is a savage record, nigga. Well, I'm asking, a, but how do you feel about Mr. How do you feel about Mr. Right now? Is Mr. Is where? But nah, he he. I got mad. You know that song? I I sent him that song like two days before the album came out. Oh, I forgot he said that. Damn. Drake's still a goat though, but still, okay. Really? Swear to God, he did his verse the day before the album came out. He did his verse. Was it for him or for you? What no? I had that song. That song yeah. was supposed to go on Savage Mode too. Yeah, nah, yeah. that should have went crazy on Savage Mode too. Certified Lover Boy type shit. It's like oh, the reason why I'm doing this, I'm trying to figure out if Metro be hating on Drake. Like, I guess this is what I'm trying to say. Cause look, he he explaining Drake getting left off the album. This is what he said, uh, and uh, let me see, eighty eight. I'm gonna just play this. So this, this is him trying to explain why he left Drake off a particular song. Keep in mind, he tweeted already the Knife Talk original version without Drake, which I'm like, okay. This is what he's. This is what he tweeted, or this is what he said about leaving Drake off a song. Studio with Drake one time, and because we were gonna do some stuff for my album, and he just wanted to hear some songs from my album. Then he heard that one and really wanted to get on it. But like, I was letting him know that he was really just done for real. And I was really just set on how it was. I was like, Brian didn't try to sell you no dream. Like, mm -hmm. it's really like, just locked in. I'm locked in where it was, but he had hit me and was just like, man, uh, let me see if it's just anything he could add to it. And he was like, if you don't like it, then whatever, so. He did, he did some stuff, a couple parts was cool, but like, I just felt like, just even with like, slime verse and trap verse and the outro, it was just already like, it just really wasn't no room. It was just wasn't no room, it wasn't nothing personal, it just wasn't no room, so. What? Hey, hey, let me tell you this, I'm gonna salute to Metro for this, because I don't think, yo, you heard what um 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 DJ Khaled said, I like what Drake like. So if if I'm seeing someone who's saying that they they're turning down, they're turning down Drake on um, they're turning down Drake on a record. You gotta respect it, but damn, bro, damn. I had uh, I just ended up using the original, and I guess the other one just leaked or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do y'all think there's ever been anyone who? I was just in the studio with Drake one time. I can't tell. Somebody said, what do you mean it was no... That, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, I don't know. I feel there's a, a little uneasiness there, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect it because Drake has been on a lot of Metro songs, but his answers, I don't know. It didn't... It didn't, it didn't uh, am I reaching? Beef or I'm reaching? Y'all tell me, beef or am I reaching? Knife talk is better without Drake? Fuck. Some people say reaching. Some people say not nah, stretch. Some people say beef. Some people say reaching, reaching. Are we reaching? Nah, I want to reach now. I don't want to reach. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, chat. All right, all right, all right. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. 